This video will demonstrate how to place orders for a patient with DKA. Go to the Enter Order icon and type DKA. Two orders will be displayed. The physician will select the DKA Diabetic Ketoacidosis Adult Order Set. You will notice that the bulk of the orders within this order set have not changed. However, if you scroll down, you will see a new section called Protocol Orders. There are two orders within this section. The physician will select one depending on the patient condition. If the patient is less than 65 and does not have CHF, you will choose option one. If the patient is greater than 65 or has CHF, select option two. I'm going to select option one. You will notice that the bolus order has been pre-selected and the dose pre-filled. It is mandatory to select an order within the continuous IV orders grid. Again, the rate has been pre-filled. You must also enter an initial dose rate for the insulin order. The DKA protocol IV fluid order is pre-selected. These are the instructions that the nurse will follow while managing the patient with DKA. The prescribed IV infusion rate is pre-filled to 150 milliliters an hour. If you choose to change this rate, you must also change the rate for the continuous IV order that you have selected. The prescribed IV infusion rate is the rate at which all subsequent IVs will infuse at while managing the patient with DKA. Select OK and you will return to the DKA order set with your orders displaying. I'm now going to show you the second option within the protocol orders for a patient greater than 65 or who has CHF. The initial IV order is not pre-selected. If you select this order, you must enter a rate. Again, it is mandatory to select an IV order from the continuous IV orders grid. And you must enter an initial dose rate for the insulin order. Again, the DKA protocol IV fluids order has been pre-selected and your prescribed IV infusion rate is 100 milliliters an hour. Again, if you change this order, you must change it for the continuous IV order that has been selected above. Once you're happy with your orders, you can press OK and return to the DK order set. Again, you can select OK here when you are happy with your orders. Previously, physicians were expected to enter DKA IV maintenance orders on a hold session. You will no longer be expected to use this DKA IV maintenance orders. This is now available for nurses to use while they manage the patient based on the blood results and the protocol order that has been entered. Submit your orders. You can review the orders within your orders tab Playing, paying close attention to the DKA protocol IV fluid orders. These are the orders the nurse will use to manage the patient. Thank you.